What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Um, as y'all can see, I'm riding solo today. Y'all girl Missy is uh, sick. She has uh, a little cold, so normally she could push through. Um, you know, you've seen her on videos. See myself on videos where, you know, we kind of push through, but your girl wasn't feeling it today, so you got me today, but I know she's the main character, but I'm gonna try my best supporting actor role in today's video. And if you can tell by the title, we have a huge, and I say we because she did majority of the shopping, um, a huge haul for you. We have uh, some decor, we have kitchen items, we have party items. It's just a bunch of stuff um, that we've picked up over the last couple of weeks as we are turning the calendar, getting rid of all the Halloween decor, preparing um, for the upcoming Christmas with a little bit of Thanksgiving, then more Christmas again holiday. Um, so yeah, I know you guys are excited to see it. Um, I am excited for you guys to see it as well. So without further ado, we're gonna get right into the video, right into the haul. Um, but before we do that, um, if y'all could just do me a favor and just, if you're watching on the TV, grab your phone, or if you're on the computer or watching from your phone, just go in the comments and write, get well, Missy. Um, and I'm sure she would appreciate that. She would love to hear from all our, uh, our YouTube family out there. So just get well, Missy, in the comments really quick below. Um, we both would greatly appreciate it and let's get into it. All right, so I'm going to try my best to kind of keep everything organized and I'm going to try to link as many things in the description um, below as possible as well. So I'm going to start off first with uh, kitchen and coffee mugs because we actually have quite a few. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, because I don't think I put it on TikTok yet. I, I need to do better with my TikTok. Definitely. But if you do follow me, um, and maybe it showed up on Missy's Instagram comments as well, but you know I've had the new, uh, well, I don't know if it's relatively new, but it's new to me, the Brevo Touch Espresso Machine. So um, I've been on the verge to try to fire starter books as much as possible because back in August, I went and looked in my app and make a long story short, um, over a 116 day period, I had spent over $700 at Starbucks. And yeah, that's not something I'm proud of. So I invested into a home espresso machine. I absolutely love it. You guys will be seeing a video on that soon. And now we're in the cold season, even here in Houston, um, where we can both enjoy uh, coffee. And Missy's a big hot cocoa fan, which actually brings me to the first set of mugs that we got from uh, what did she say we got this from these came from home goods so these are these old-fashioned oversized i think it says old-fashioned yeah old-fashioned hot cocoa these are really oversized uh mugs they're kind of like a gift set but uh, missy picked these out so she got these and then one time i actually went to the target that's by the house and uh, Missy has this thing well I won't say she has a thing but sometimes when I go there by myself and end up FaceTiming her to show her things um, next thing you know I'm walking through the entire store on FaceTime and she's telling me what to pick and put in the cart so I actually showed her um, this one I'm not sure if it was because it's two of them right so there's a mini one and there's a large one I'm not sure which one I bought but there was only one, but when she went back, she saw the other one and grabbed it, but only just now on camera that I realized that they're two different sizes. But that actually probably works because she's not a huge, huge hot drink drinker. Um, so this is probably more than enough for her versus me. Um, you know, I'll probably do two of these. So we got these uh, gingerbread cups from uh, Target. And speaking of gingerbread, you're gonna see that some that theme somewhat throughout this entire haul. Um, we've actually kicked around the idea of, let me grab the other ones really quick. We've actually kicked around the idea as far as what are we gonna do for our theme this year for Christmas. And early in the season, I wanna say early October, uh, Missy had kicked around, you know, thinking about doing a gingerbread theme. And I think we were both on board. And then we quickly realized that um, the manufacturers of all the holiday things, it seems like gingerbread is one theme this year. So it's everywhere. And usually things that are everywhere means they're gonna be widely adopted, which means that a lot of people are gonna have the gingerbread theme. So now we were kind of contemplating if we would do it or not, because um, 
it's not to say that we don't want to do what everybody else is doing that's true but more so we just want something different and i know you guys want to see stuff different too the last thing you want to see is you know everybody that you watch has the same thing does the same thing we kind of talked about that before so we're still trying to figure that out but missy did say she wants a gingerbread corner and a gingerbread themed corner in the kitchen or somewhere in the house or maybe a couple spots so without rambling too much these also came from target as well but these are the stackable snowman what is this sorry let's see yeah i believe it's a target so these are these stackable snowman mugs which are pretty cool as missy would say they're really cute um but yeah pretty straightforward stackable top bottom two separate mugs you get the picture you get the vibes and when i've been done y'all can see these grays are popping i got i got to get some just for men or something that's not gonna, that's not gonna fly um again keeping up with the gingerbread theme we have the other mug here that I think came from yep target as well so you see you see how that theme is starting to come together and the last of the coffee cups will actually be these from um i forget the name of it where chip and joanna you know their section um is it written on here yeah hearth and hand so we actually found these coffee mugs and they say uh, morning beautiful and morning handsome on it oh, let me get out the way so i can focus is it focused well yeah you get the picture so good morning beautiful good morning handsome on there all right y'all so moving right along but still staying within the kitchen theme um the next thing that missy had grabbed was these snow snowman salt and pepper shakers uh i believe this is the pepper yeah there's the pepper one right here so you know, hook that up like that and uh, oh, they're both grinders, so ball. Wait a minute. Did she get two of the same kind? Or is one? So here's the top, and then here's the bottom. You set the, the coarseness of the grind here. But is it a set, or are they both? Oh, I guess they're both grinders, so you just have to guess which one you use it but two salt and pepper grinders here snowman no these are pretty cool i had saw them right before she did um and then she had brought them over to me we walked around the store and debated on getting them or not but obviously we got them so and i think i found some that i can link below so make sure y'all pay attention to that if you watched our chicago vlog you know when we went to the the honey bear, honey bear cafe they had this latte um, that they made with the Biscoff cookie. I forget what it's called. I want to say shortbread or or it was something along those lines. Um, and I've been trying to figure out how to make it and recreate it at home, right? So um, walking through, I actually found this cookie, this shortbread cookie um, syrup for the coffee. And I think this will work as far as giving it the flavor it needs. Um, and then everything else they, they did, I can do. Um, but I was just telling myself, I need to find a cookie flavor sweetener that's not a creamer right so this is actually gonna work out perfect for that and again stay tuned for the um, coffee bar um, the new coffee bar reveal that'll probably be um, in the next video or a standalone video uh, so next we have some wall decor that she grabbed from target um, can't take this out the package but it's just the you could kind of see the idea right there. Aluminum sign. I don't want to say these probably came from the, the little $5 area. Then we have this gingerbread bakery sign. Uh, again, gingerbread theme. Again, you see the vibe, you see what she's going for. I'm not sure how she's going to put it all together, but uh, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Uh, next up, we have these again gingerbread salt and pepper shakers and th again this is some of the things that we started to see when we were saying man there's a lot of gingerbread items out so we knew that was going to be a very popular um theme this year so if we do it we're going to try to figure out how to do it differently put our own spin on it um our own style so or again we're just going to have the little area or corner for her to do her thing 
Uh, next is actually something that I found. And can you guess the thing? Yep, gingerbread. But this is a um, sugar and creamer set. That was, is it focusing? I can't tell if it's focusing or not. But this is a, a cream and sugar set that we got from Home Goods. So I actually picked this up. And the thing about it is, nobody really drink, well, Amir's drinking coffee now, or starting to drink coffee here, at least at home. But nobody really drinks coffee with cream and sugar. And that's why I didn't get it. And then I was on the phone with Missy when I saw her, she was like, you don't actually have to use it. You could just use it as decor. I'm like, I don't. Like, why do you buy something that's not fun? Not why do you, but why buy it if it's not going to be functional just sitting there? But I digress, and I got it. So. Uh, next up, uh, let's see what to grab here. Oh, so where did this come from? This is again. This looks like a Target find. Yeah. So a is this thing focusing? So this is a um, cookie jar from the five dollar spot at target it's pretty cool uh let's see the next thing is she just got some kitchen tiles um pretty straightforward pretty simple but again that gingerbread theme is starting to run rapid as i mentioned so just got some kitchen towels oh one second. the next thing is this uh, gingerbread ceramic serving board. I'm not quite sure if she has like a specific plan for it or if it's just more going to be a stand to put something or some things on. And then she got this um, gingerbread spatula. Now, when I first saw it, I said this looks cheap. It's, I don't know what you would really use it for because um, of the size of it. Like it's, to put it in perspective, I mean, I have big hands, but I mean, what are you gonna flip with this? Like, what is it gonna do? And it, it just looks flimsy and, you know, but what do you guys think? You guys like this? What you think? But anyway, so we got that. And then also, and I feel kind of the same way about this, it's a gingerbread snack bowl. Like, I get why she got this. I get it. But it, I don't know. It just feels a little, I don't know, I don't know what to call it, but. If you understand what I'm saying, like describe it for me in the comments, but like it just, I don't know, it feels weird, but I'm not sure the right words to use about it, um, to use to describe it. Uh, let's see what it, oh, then we have, this is from Target as well. And Target is apparently very big on the gingerbread thing this year. Cause I think most of everything or a lot of what the gingerbread stuff we have comes from Target, but this is a, cookie jar um, as well will there be cookies in here i doubt it but we shall see all right winding down with some of the stuff from the kitchen we have this cake stand um i don't know if there's a top to it or not um a dome um if so i didn't see it because i had to sidebar all the stuff, like I said, that we bought over the last couple of weeks has been stashed and stored in different places throughout the house. So I had to find it and compile it. And Missy uh, drug herself out of the room to help find some stuff that I couldn't find. You know how you know how us husbands can be when it comes to that stuff. But nonetheless, um, I didn't see a top for this. So I don't sure if we have one, but this snowman cake plate. So also when we were at Home Goods, we found this Christmas pasta. And on the inside it's like trees, um, gifts. I want to say like shooting stars um, and some uh, some other shapes as well. So when we first actually moved to Texas, um, we were at the grocery store and they had Texas shaped pasta. And we bought it and Austin just thought it was the coolest thing. He was two at the time so um when i saw these for whatever reason it made me think of him because he enjoys stuff like this he really likes it um and he likes to cook he wants to be a chef so maybe we'll make something cool um i can't think of anything right now outside of like a soup or maybe what type of soup so if you have any ideas of what me and austin can make um utilizing this pasta 
uh, comment below, tag me, uh, DM me on Instagram, something like that. Let me know. Um, and then if we like it or if you make a good suggestion, we'll, we'll make it on the channel. All right. So um, the next couple things we have, this is still kitchen related, but these bottle openers that Missy got, they're noisy as heck. But um, she has two of them, so bottle openers. And she missed out on having her Halloween party. Um, and I know she really, we both do really. We really want to have a Christmas party. Um, just got to make sure a couple things come together first. Um, but I know a lot of this stuff is geared up for when and if we do have our Christmas party, the first Christmas party at this house. Um, so whether it's this year or next year, um, the girl is very big on getting it now, even if she doesn't use it for the next year or two, which I support because you just never know when you'll see it again. But these bottle openers came from, I'm pretty sure Target. Yeah, Target. Next up, we have oh, some stuff on here. We have these red saucers or plates from Target. We got uh, this comes in a set of four, but we got two sets for a total of eight. Try to move some stuff. It just says Merry Christmas on there. Um, I'm not sure if she's doing red and white in the dining room. Um, you saw how she set up the table for Halloween. I can only imagine what the plans are for Christmas. Um, so when we saw them at first, I, I forget what she said, but I had made a comment like, oh, they're just regular plates. She's like, but I like them, and if we don't get them, because this is when they were first starting to bring their Christmas stuff out. Um, she's like, I won't be able to find them. So they weren't terribly expensive. I think it was like 12 bucks for a set. Um, and we got two sets of these. Next thing we actually have is two bottle holders or wine bottle holders. So this is the snowman. And Missy kept calling it the, I, say, I think she said the Coca-Cola. And I, I know the Coca-Cola thing, but is this the Coca-Cola snowman? Like, I don't think it is, but Missy does. And I remember it, I can see it, but I feel like it's a little bit different. But anyway, he, you know, obviously pictured this and the bottle will go, you know, here for him, you know, for, you, you get the vibes for the bottle holder. And then the... Uh, gingerbread one this this one this one a little risque this one a little freaky but same thing bottle holder bottle you know goes in there which is you know pretty cool these were 20 bucks each and we got these at uh at home goods so i wanted this one and missy wanted the uh snowman one so what do you do you get both right also from target i think this is from target no, this is from this. Is a cheese board. You know, charcuterie boards are all the rage now. And every season, every holiday, every moment requires a board. So we have this cheese board, cheese plate here. This was uh, 20 bucks. Um, solid wood, too. So good material. Got this at Home Goods. So more charcuterie boards and more serving trays. So we have this Christmas tree, one that we got from Target, right around the same time that we got those plates I just showed you. So here's this Christmas tree again, solid wood. And then we also got this snowflake one. And I don't know if she plans on doing anything to it um, to make it different, painting it, staining it a darker color, like I don't know. But just these serving, trays, charcuterie board trays. And the only thing that we got that was really like not one specific theme was these mu this muffin pan. We grabbed this from Home Goods as well. Let's see. All right, next up, uh, let's see. So Missy grabbed these sure why she didn't tell me I'm pretty sure she's gonna say I just thought they were cute uh, from uh, Target yeah so these plush gingerbread dolls so do you guys think they're cute because I know my wife does and that's probably why she bought them what she plans on doing or where she plans on putting it or doing with I'm not sure but 
We got the gingerbread men from Home Goods. So one of the things that we kicked around doing was um, a deer and tree type thing. Just describing it doesn't make sense. I don't know, maybe it does make sense, but just describing it, maybe you don't get the vibe, but um, if you've been to a lot of the stores and you've seen a lot of the decor and a lot of things that's available, you'll kind of understand it. But she found these sleek black deers um, at Home Goods. They weren't that badly priced either. How much were they? These were, this one was 10 bucks and this, the bigger one was 15 bucks. So I know a lot of times, um, I know I used to always say, you know, you gotta have red and white for Christmas, but um, I've really been liking the black incorporated into Christmas, the black trees, black bulbs. Um, I really like it. So regardless of what direction we go, this theme or this look will probably play a very intricate role. All right, so next up, more Target finds, and it's, it's kind of hard to see, but this is a snowman, dropped in plastic, but it's a snowman candy dish, candy jar, something along those lines. Yeah, a little bit better so you can see. And then there's also a Christmas tree one. Um, that was from the, uh, based on the tag, I'm assuming this came from the, the $5 spot, one spot, whatever they call it now. So she got these. And then one of those times when I was on FaceTime with her, I showed her this and she made me grab it. This, oh, let me not drop it. Whoa. Oh, that was close. But this gingerbread, uh, can you even see it? But it just says gingerbread bakery, May Fresh Daily, Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Um, this glass cookie jar. I really almost dropped that jar. So let me put that down somewhere safe because I know they don't have any more and yeah I would have had to hear that non-stop all right so another I feel like I've been saying so a lot how about anyway next couple things came from home goods and uh, yeah I was on FaceTime with Missy again showing her what was there and we came across these so these are mixing bowls um, this one says, let it snow. So I get it, it's reverse for you guys, maybe. It says, let it snow, and then it has uh, two little spatulas on top with some uh, cookie cutters, and there's recipes on each side of this little box for um, different, is this, uh, yeah, co classic holiday sugar cookies. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. You know, it's right there. And this is pretty cool because one of the conversations that we had just been, um, that we've been having lately was that when it comes down to the holiday season, there's a lot more crafts, there's a lot more baking and cooking and things like that. So we wanted to update and elevate all of our utensils that we use um, from storing to preparing to actually making it, uh, making whatever that, you know, whether it's cookies or cakes. We just wanted to, you know, elevate the things that we have and upgrade some of the things that we have as well so it's cohesive and you you know how it is when you have something and you have it for a while and then you move and years pass and you may it's a set of four and now you only have one and you still keep it so we want to kind of get rid of some of the old stuff and upgrade some of the older stuff as well to have a nice i hate the word aesthetic i feel like it's overused but um a more aesthetic set to everything so in addition to that one there was another mixing bowl um, again with another recipe or maybe the same recipe and they had a little mini rolling pin and spoon on this one with some more uh, cookie cutters and I like this because it allows Austin and Zuri when they want to help to have their own tools where they're not using mine and it's perfect for their you know their little hands and stuff like that so we'll definitely be putting some use to this um, this upcoming holiday season uh, let's see anything else for the kitchen i think that's it oh no there's one other little small thing so i think the, this kind of kitchen bar-esque but it's these bottle stoppers these deer or stag um bottle stoppers now i've seen this style with the deer as part of a larger set where they have 
not only the bottle stoppers, but they have uh, bottle openers, uh, strainers, and a lot of other things with this same, you know, deer or stag. Um, look, they even have drinking glasses with this same um, deer on the side of it. So I don't know if she plans on in getting the rest of them or getting more of them, but, um, you know, we usually knock out a bottle of wine, if not two, but in the rare instances we don't, we have some cool new stoppers. Y'all like these? I really like these, actually. Tell me what y'all think. All right. Next, we will, I guess it's more of entertaining slash party. And the wine stoppers kind of go into that, right? So it's a nice little segue, nice little transition. So these were at Target. And they are, I have to back up a little bit here. These are, it's a ski with two shot glasses on it. And obviously, the because I have, we had a couple people say, you know, what are these? They didn't quite get it from the picture, but um, imagine Missy's feeling better and she right here and we're, we have four of these actually. So we have a set, uh, yeah, four of these, so four sets. And you can have a drinking game, um, trivia game, couples trivia game, or, you know, loser got to take the shot. But the reason they set it up like this is because, you know, sometimes people pump fake on the shot or they hesitant. But when you have it like this and it's time to turn it up, if you don't turn it, it's going to turn on you. So it's just a cool little way to incorporate, you know, more holiday drinking, whether you do eggnog shots or uh, whiskey shots or vodka shots or water shots or whatever you want to put in here. So we have four of these for our next or upcoming game night. That should be fun. And remember when I said earlier, like your girl is getting ready for a Christmas or holiday party. This is a further example of that. So these are reusable drink pouches in the shape of a candy cane. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's these little straws here on the top. And I mean, these are pretty big. Let me see if it's how many ounces. Um, it says only six, a little over six and three quarter ounces. It just seems like it's way more than that. Um, I guess it just depends on how much it expands, but um, make some holiday drinks, place them in a bag, hand it to guests as they come in or put it in a cooler. Guests can take it out. You get the vibe, you get the idea. So got some of these. And then she also got some that are like, um, like Christmas bulbs. Let me see if I can find them. All right, I'm gonna try to make this quick because the camera's telling me that it's getting hot and starting to overheat, but I did find it. So, so here the, oh, I forgot all about this. So Missy did find a gingerbread oven mitt, but that's not what I was looking to get. Throw that little guy over there. So it's, it's lit light bulb drink holder. So when I first saw this, I said, this is cool, but like, what do you do with it? Because once you inflate it, it's, it's going to like roll around. It's not going to like stand up straight or doesn't have a holder. And it doesn't seem like you can hang it somewhere unless I would assume that's what this little hole is for. I don't know what y'all think, but she has a couple of these. So this is the bulb. And some of the, um, I want to say socks. Is that what they call it? Socks? You know what I'm talking about. But some of these, again, individuals for guests. And then here's a bigger one for more drinks. And I already showed you the peppermint one. Um, I want to say that's it. Nope. And one more thing. I think it's one more thing. Let me see. A oh, couple more things. See, I'm bad at doing this by myself. I miss my wingman. So when my wingman is there, I'm on point. When my co-pilot not with me, I'm all over the place. So again, this was another FaceTime, hey, pick this up for me, purchase. But these uh, candy cane or peppermint pillows, I got two of these from Target. Now, you probably can tell, I wonder how many of you noticed that these chairs I'm sitting in are new and we haven't showed y'all yet. Um, but we will soon. But I wonder how many of you noticed. If you noticed the chairs, um, before I just mention it, uh, comment below and let me know if you noticed them. But she said she wanted to place these pillows 
and the chairs now these are some pretty big chairs so i didn't think that these would fit or they would be they would look right based on scale but she told me to trust her so i'm doing just that happy wife happy life happy spouse happy house so we got two of these pillows and for my always cold anemic wife oh let me grab this who loves a good blanket you got this Rachel Zoe, and I can't tell if this is blue or black, but it's extremely thick and soft, just like my wife. But um, no, it's really comfortable too. So um, this was 30 bucks at, I wanna say she got this at Home Goods. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, it's when I say it's, it's plush soft, like it's super soft. Um, but if it's anything like some of the other Halloween ones, we won't even open it. It will just kind of like drape over the couch and just stay there. So we'll see if this actually gets utilized. Um, I think that her biggest fear is like once she opens it, that's when the kids want to, you know, get all in it and get all under it. And it's just not the same anymore once they get a hold of it. But yeah, so that is the, oh, I take that back. That is not the end of the haul. There is one more thing, the candles. I got to show you guys the candles in one second. I don't know how I almost forgot about the candles. We, we grabbed a bunch of candles. So the first up is, I think most of these came from Home Goods too, by the way. So the first one is this Sand and Fog called Fraser Fur. It's, it smells, it smells good. It's just, I can't really describe, let me see. It's kind of green, kind of woodsy and kind of sweet at the same time. Um, but this one's called Fraser Fur by Sand and Fog. Uh, next up, we have another Sand and Fog candle called White Cypress. That one smells really good. It's like a, it smells like Christmas on the beach, if that makes sense. Like you live off the lake, but it's winter time and it's Christmas morning. And you have an all white tree and an all white backdrop because it's snow all over the place, but yet it's still Christmas morning. That's what this smells like. This is White Cypress by Sand and Fog. The next one is uh, by Red Leaf Home. Oh, there, there it is right here, Red Leaf Home. Um, it says a blend of fur needles, amber, wood, and a hint of mint. No, 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 that's nice. The mint really comes through at the end too. It smells like um, like the pine cone tree, not the pine cone trees, but you know how you get the, the trees with the actual pines on it. Um, I forget the name, I'm drawing a blank, but you know which ones I'm talking about. It's a little bit of that, but instead of that sharp woodsy smell at the end, you get the mint. This is really nice. And it's a double wood, um, the flickering wood candles, which are nice. Another Sand and Fog, which is called Winter White. Um, it smells good, but n nothing reminds me of Winter and White. It's, it's relatively sweet. It, it's almost like the other one that I talked about, the one that's like the beach and the, the snow and all of that, but it just didn't deliver all the way. It's like the poor man's version of that, but they're the same candle, same price. But it still smells good. It just doesn't really drive home that, that certain smell, nostalgically at least. All right, y'all, the camera died on me. Well, it overheated, so I had to let it cool down. But what I, I believe I was talking about this kind of, which is called Havana Nights. Um, I believe this one is another Sand and Fog one. This is one I got from, uh, I picked that when we were at um, Home Goods. And it's just a nice, fresh scent. Like, I plan on putting this in my office. I keep a lot of, uh, candles in my office, you know, just depending on my mood. A lot of them are like tobacco and cedar and stuff like that. And this kind of fits that same uh, mold. It's, it's just a really pleasant scent um, for me, you know, to keep him in, in the office. Uh, let's see. This last one was called um, Alexa Rake the Leaves. Um, it says, seen a, um, what is it? Hold on, wait a minute. 
I don't know. It says, Alexa, would you rate the leaves? And then I was trying to read that line right below it. It says, sing, bag them, and would you, or something like that. But anyway, it's just a play on words, I'm assuming, for the smell of, you know, autumn and fall, um, when the leaves hit the ground, and some people burn them and rake them up. Just that overall uh, vibe. But it does smell like fall, but not the woodsy, leafy type thing. It's it's a sweeter fall. It's kind of hard to describe, but it smells really, really good. Um, and I know we're still in fall, but a lot of stuff kind of shifts immediately from Christmas. Um, I'm sorry, from Halloween to Christmas, but we're still in that in-between phase where it's still fall, we still have Thanksgiving to get through. So it's still time to burn this one um, before we break out the full holiday uh, candles. And speaking of holiday candles, this last one is one that Missy saw as we were checking out. So it's shaped like a little soda can. Um, and it says uh, mistletoe kiss soda. And you already know she thought this was cute. Here's the top, here's the lid. And then it has just a wick on the inside. Um, this actually smells like one that is over here already. I'm just not sure which one, but the presentation is nice. Um, we're both a sucker for good presentation. So this one is pretty cool. Um, not sure again with the plan, where to put it, but, um, may even gift it to someone who knows, but I think that's it. I think that about covers it. I almost forgot about the candles, but I remember. So I want to thank you guys. If you made it this far, watch the whole thing all the way through. I really, really appreciate it. Make sure y'all thumbs up the video and then let us know what was some of your favorite things in the comments below. So was it some of the baking stuff? Was it the throw cover? Was it some of the candles? Do you own any of these candles? Whatever the case may be, let us know in the comments and we will see y'all next week.